<laughs> if that makes sense. All right, chapter six, engineering problems. So, in the end, you escaped hidden on that truck? Yep. What about the shit you told me about not escaping in a truck to prevent pollution? Because the first time, it would have been me behind the wheel. This time, the truck was going to leave, with or without me. Which means the pollution wasn't my fault. <coughs> How convenient. How convenient. All right, where were we? What were we doing? Um, oh yeah, we destroyed that tank, didn't we? I'm gonna equip the binoculars. Just some boxes. Fox, do you copy? Hey, it's the concrete paparazzi. <laughs> concrete paparazzi. Ha, <laughs> such an asshole. But I like it. How's that escape of yours going? Making progress. I'm currently stowed away in a truck. Communications are hot. You really pissed them off, Fox. I guess we're both gifted with pissing people off. Sorry about the concrete joke, by the way. Nah, don't worry about it. Better to have a sense of humor about being jailed over some concrete blocks. By the way, you haven't seen them, right? I've seen concrete everywhere, Robert. But nothing as big as you mentioned. Ah, well. Send a postcard when you get home, my friend. Definitely. Over and out. I don't remember what he said about it. But that's just... That's just me. The truck stopped at last. In me. Its destination was a small port owned by the clandestine base. Looked like the truck was carrying packages to be transported by sea. As we arrived, I overheard a conversation between the driver and a hangar officer. Are you gonna tell me what the fuck you're bringing me at this time of night? Sir, I have an order to send this load by sea. Fuck! You're waking me up for this? I already told your officer. All maritime operations are cancelled. We're waiting for the nuclear warheads to arrive. And we won't ship anything else until there's a new order. Hold on, you said nuclear warheads? Yes, that's what I heard them say. God save us. That's impossible. You sound just like the Colonel. Okay. Colonel Harris, are you there? Here I am, son. You sound tense. Are you all right? Where are you? I escaped in a truck. I'm now in a hangar at a port. That's great news. Find a phone and call. Not so fast, Colonel. It's an ex-army port. I'm not safe yet. I have new information about Operation Jericho. Just overheard a conversation. Sounds like they're waiting for... nuclear warheads. Nuclear warheads? That's impossible. Are you certain? That's what I heard. This can't be. You just can't pluck nuclear weapons out of thin air. They're extensively regulated. Is it possible they stole them? Yeah, we don't have any news about any theft in any country. If they were stolen, either a country hid the fact or it happened while I was captive here. Is it possible to build them? These people have a lot of resources. They need radioactive material and it can't be freely obtained. Not to mention a big lab and highly skilled people to produce them. Whatever the case, they managed to acquire some. If that's true, son, we're screwed. Hold on, Colonel. I heard something. Crap, they started the engine. I'll call you later. I have to jump out before the truck drives off. There he goes. Yeah, it's funny we've been we've been wandering around picking up um, uranium balls for the slingshot, and they're like, "Oh, well, they can't just find any old uranium around." Like, well, <laughs> guess what? We kind of did. I love the fact that we just punched this. Uh, Paul will spin the wheel in a second when I've finished punching stuff. <laughs> Feels bad, man. That looks like a an old missile. Were we doing any... Destroy five crates with the explosions of a single grenade. Alright, chat. If we see... If we see loads of these crates around... 
Make sure I throw a nade at him. Oh, there's people. Hey, Leonard, look! It's the prisoner! Leonard, not Mike. These guys were Leonard's. Mike doesn't fit engineers. <laughs> Wait! Call for backup! So they get the credit? No way! I'm fed up with them making fun of us. Just because we're engineers. You're right, Leonard. They treat us like nobodies because we don't carry a rifle. Our weapon is our intellect. To the controls! We'll tell them we saw the prisoner. <laughs> Activating radial saw. Oh, damn. You guys, you're engineers. Don't play soldiers with me, okay? I won't hurt you. Come on, let me pass. I'll give you some trading cards. Eat a dick. <laughs> I don't know what you have on those computers, but any unsaved work is going to get lost. The saws were controlled by the terminals. I only had to destroy them, and with all the noise in the hangar, a few explosions wouldn't draw any attention. But I had to be careful not to kill the engineers and heal them in case they got injured. Engineers. Welcome to On Metal again. I like the fact that he said he's a dick. I'm greatly happy, but also, why wasn't I consulted? Also, why didn't I voice act it? Oh, this bro. This okay. I need to reload. And then I guess we just gotta nade them. Uh. Hey, we at level seven. You can hold four more ma healing kits, maximum of ten. You sedate guards twice as fast and drag them faster. Gag reflex, I like it. We've not come up with a point where we've run out of med kits, so I'm gonna go with gag reflex. Oh, wait. Gotta deal with this mother trucker as well. Oh, righto. Mission failed. You killed someone. Wait, what? Cough. The game literally said explosives work. Psych. I wish it would auto save after you level up. Alright, let's help this guy first, I guess. He's the most injured. Oh shit! I'm pushing the wrong buttons! I just tried to kill him again. It's all good. That was tricky. I don't know why I tried to... Oh, God damn it! I guess we need nades for this one. We need nades and nades. We need nades and nades. Also, has these got nades in them? They have. And a med kit. Nice. Um, how is one meant to... Ah, uh, okay, down here. Let's see. He's slowly bleeding out. What? What? Oh, they're too high. Oh, shit. He's dead. He's dead. I saved him. I'm basically a doctor. I'm basically a doctor. I got no more nades though. Well, this is shit. Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. Still in that hangar? Yes, Colonel. Still trying to figure out how to get out of here. By the way, guess what? 
They have a mini rescue submarine. Rescue? <laughs> These people don't look like they go around rescuing people. I'm getting inside to have a look. Maybe I can ride it out of here. One day. One day they'll accept me. I'm not going out of here. I inspected the mini submarine before I left. Uh, okay. <laughs> he saw he saw that light cast and I was like, nah, bro, come back this way. We've got cookies. We got pizza. Well, look at what we have here. Fiddling with the controls, levers, and compartments, I managed to discover the submarine's logbook. It contained details about its last mission, a rescue operation. The details didn't catch my attention at first, but this logbook turned out to hold exactly the answers we Feels were looking bad, for. Thanks for checking. The fourth document was the logbook of a mini rescue submarine. It mentioned its last mission, a successful rescue operation from a week ago. The target was a sinking submarine. The K-278 Consomolets, suffering from an onboard fire in the Barents Sea. Apparently, two nuclear torpedoes were salvaged during the job. The warheads involved in Operation Jericho. The third file of Operation Up Jericho Mickey. was quite revealed. How are you? Before leaving the submarine, I decided to report oh, to Harris course. about the documents. Of course. Did you find anything, Fox? I found a logbook with a single recorded mission. It says, Mission, Deep Rescue, successfully completed. Return date, Fuck, a week ago. I'll continue reading. Rescue in the Barents at Sea. Objective, Submarine K-278 Komsomolets. Damn it. The Komsomolets. Have you heard of it? Of course. It's a Soviet submarine that sank after catching fire. But I can't think of any connection between these scum and the Soviets. Maybe they're a Russian faction and went to rescue their comrades. Or they could be trying to trade the crewmen for Russian nukes or something. Fox, this wasn't a rescue mission. But the log says... The Komsomolets sank over a year ago. There's not a soul alive down there. It's not people they were hauling. It was something else. Colonel, what was the sub armed with? As far as I know, two nuclear torpedoes. Fuck! <laughs> there it is. The nuclear warheads for Operation Jericho. Oui. Kindly donated by the Soviet Union in a game of Finders Keepers. If what you say is true, they had to bring those torpedoes in by sea and take them to a lab. The whole Comsolots have been contaminated by the radiation, which means they would need a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Colonel? <laughs> Don't be an idiot, Fox. A sarcophagus is something that confines radiation. Preventing everyone from dying while they transport the goods. It has to be something thick, heavy. Like two huge concrete blocks. Like the photographer. Oh, I have to call Robert. Fox, wait. What's up, Colonel? I hear footsteps. Soldiers are walking down the hall. Damn it. I think my time is up. Listen to me carefully, son. The situation is critical. You have to escape as soon as possible and call the Cavalier. Understood? The fate of countless people rests on you, Fox. Colonel Harris out. That was my final communication with Colonel Harris. F for Colonel Harris. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's just the way he just went. To submit. Fuck. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Fox, looks like you're going to transfer a prisoner. Someone called Alan Harris. I know. Do you know what they plan to do? No idea, Fox. But looks like the orders are coming from top brass. You're really pissing them off, my friend. Be careful. Maybe they'll use him against you. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I have something to tell you about your concrete. Don't tell me him. Man, you rock. I don't know where they are. 
they've been used as a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? <laughs> Did you smoke something, Fox? Of course not. I mean a thick container to contain radiation. Radiation? Please tell me they're not nukes. They are, from a sunken Soviet submarine. Shit. That's why there's so much secrecy and surveillance. Cheer up, Robert. Your capture isn't for something trivial anymore. It's for a nuclear arms race. Fuck, fuck, fuck! This news is the bomb! That's a literal way to say it. Keep me informed, my friend. I want to know all the deets. I will, Robert. Over and out. This guy. <laughs> nice. Nice, Mia. I feel you on that, to be honest. The amount they put out is just I finally located a recycling bin. I've been needing one for a while. Why the hell did you need a recycling bin? To get rid of some stuff. But couldn't you just toss them on the ground? Are you taking me for some sort of shitbag? Right. You were behind enemy lines. It wouldn't be unreasonable. Look, Lieutenant, I don't abandon my principles at the first sign of adversity. I see. Now, why did you get rid of items that may be handy later? Because the more stuff you have, the more you're a slave to your own possessions. And nothing enslaves me. <laughs> so, I threw away everything that I didn't need. An act that's common to minimalists such as yourself. Minimalist? Me? Where'd you get that stupid idea? Take a look at yourself. You look angry and disappointed. As if you're having minimalist intercourse. <laughs> How dare you! Relax, Sergeant. It's obvious what Mr. Fox is trying to do. We've been here for a long time. We're tired, even slightly agitated. Mr. Fox is trying to take advantage of that by getting on my nerves with petty insults. Hoping I attack him and provide an officer misconduct charge that enables him to be set free. Big brains. But that is not going to work, Mr. Fox. Look, I'm used to interrogating assholes like you. Fuck. You got me, officer. I underestimated you. Fuck. I have to admit that you're very good. Uh, well, thanks. I, uh, <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, <laughs> let's continue. You said that you got rid of some items. I love this game. Wait, I didn't need the salt water or anything. Fuck you, game. Do I need the key? I probably need the key. Now I've got no inventory. What's that about? Anyway, I'm assuming I'm going to need this key. The key didn't fit in the lock. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, Kaz. I feel like we could have MacGyvered some stuff. And made some stuff out of other stuff. Does it fit in here? After putting the key in the lock and turning it, the sub started to move. I took the mini submarine through underground channels beneath the hangar. Seriously? Now you can drive mini submarines? Nope. Never done it before in my life. But I found a manual. Obviously. Can you read Russian? Of course not. It was in English. The mini submarine was American. Or head? It was a pretty smooth ride. I didn't have to worry about the battery levels, oxygen, or depth. And the inside was very comfortable. I could practically live in there. Huh. Well, of course. It's an American product. What did you expect? Yeah, but you know how American vehicles are. They practically explode on contact. Ever <laughs> seen an action movie? <laughs> Anyways, that's why I avoided any hard collisions. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, chat. How long before I explode? How long before I explode? I'm getting, you know that Turtles game on NES with the damn level? I'm getting them vibes. Can we get down here, or am I gonna explode? Oh, we can go down here. It's a trap! Oh god, that made me jump. Oh shit, there's some mines here. Fuck. I guess we're gonna go back. That actually made me jump. <gasps>
This could actually zoom if if you wanted it to. Whoops. It boinked. Daddy. 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 Shit. Nearly. Nope. Ah, wait. Every time I bonk it, it takes HP. All good. We survived. We survived. Uh, there's a toilet up here. Sweet. Let's save it. Because I think I only ever did it like three times. I'd get up some days and I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to do it today. Nah. Nah. Play it for about an hour and just insta die. I'm guessing this is as far as we can go. Yeah, just a punch of missiles. Good idea, isn't it? It's steady already. Um, both are alright. We go. We just loaded with fifty mini torpedoes. Let's go blow some stuff up. Let's go blow some stuff up. Um, Jesse, are we are we going? Thank you. Let's go. Um, how do we? How are we going to navigate this? Though? That's the question. Where do we? Oh, okay, it's not got a massive explosion radius. That's good. Oh shit! I boinked it. That may have been a miss aim, but it's it's all good. It's all good. Nice cats, nice. But daft to eat. <laughs> Any time on a Monday morning is daft o'clock, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like tomorrow would normally be me doing YouTube stuff, but I feel like tomorrow it's gonna be trying to figure out stupid stream elements. I might just say fuck it and not even go stream elements. Might just Rainmaker appears to be working, so I might just fucking use that. Holy shit, there's things shooting at me. Apparently that missed. Oh no, I boinked it. Alright. Is this. This looks like it's a broken wall. Hey! Whoops. <laughs> Boink! Boink! Yeah. Chat, if you see anything like that, let me know. Yeah, there's no point going to bed, to be honest. I'm probably up till like midnight watching Apex streams, so I might. If that was me, I probably wouldn't even go to bed. Might be different driving, though. Boink. It makes a kind of, it, it makes a satisfying bonk noise. Well, I blew up. All right, this time. I'm getting old, like NES game vibes from this. Shit, I boinked. This is six day. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, it, how does this work, boss? Uh, oh my god. Nailed it! Absolute submarine god. There's no vehicle in a video game I can't drive. Absolutely no vehicle in a video game I can't drive. And next week we're playing Flight Simulator.
<laughs> I'm going back down. Kaz, I feel like six years ago in the UK, it was still going to be like three or four pound. There's this one thing that the government never fails to tax, and that's cigarettes and alcohol. Literally, they never fail. Every time there's a budget, bang. Alcohol tax is going up. Feels bad, man. I literally... I can't get that one. That's just going to have to... Feels bad, man. There's going to be an achievement for getting all these, isn't there? Fuck me, I couldn't even do it. For the achievement chat, for the achievement. Okay, you can't get it. Confirmed, can't get it. I've got a slither of life left. One HP. You had to feel lonely, locked in that submarine underwater. Nah, I had some company. You Jill. I was fucking doomed when I was engineering. I was fucking doomed. Oh wait, I figured out the matter. I figured out the meta chat. Just don't be stupid for head. There we go. Boss defeated. Nice. Um, I'm guessing I go through these. Yep. Oops. Drink. Nice. Nice, let's go.